In this video, I'll introduce iTunes. And my current version is iTunes 12. It's the app where you store your music collection. Before you start using iTunes, have a look inside Preferences. There may be a few choices to be made here. For example, you may need to adjust the settings in Sharing and also in Devices if you have more than one device. And if you haven't already set up how to use your iTunes Store account, you may need to do that here also. So here's a quick tour of the main settings. At the top left are some of the key options. Music, where your music collection is stored. Movies. TV shows. And then here, if I click on that and open Edit, there's a range of other selections that you can decide whether or not to include on your list. Top Centre offers other choices. My Music, this one, lists your own collection. If you've created playlists, then these are shown here. And to download something from the iTunes Store, go here. And I'll go back to My Music. And top right are the ways by which you can organise your music. For example, by albums, by artists, and by songs, for example. These columns show a selection of the key information available about each track. To change these column headers, place your cursor on the white space in one of the headers, hold down the control key and click and press. From the list that appears, you can check or uncheck headers of your choice. You can click and drag between the headers to adjust the column widths. And you can change the ordering of the columns by dragging each header to a new location. Click on a particular header to reorder your music. So now the songs are ordered by genre and now by artist and so on. Playlists are a useful way of creating a selection of particular tracks. Perhaps the easiest way of creating a playlist is to click this plus bottom at the bottom left and choose New Playlist. It needs a name. Let me call it Alan's Party List. Press Return and you see that it appears. Let's see if I can find it. Yes, there it is. Alan's Party List. And it appears in the panel on the left a panel that lists all of my current playlists. Now come across to Edit Playlist on the right and a panel opens and I can now create my playlist by dragging tracks from anywhere in my collection. So click and drag. And if I want to select more than one at a time, click on one of them, hold down the command key, and then click on the others. I've got five selected at the moment, so just click on any one of the selected tracks, drag it in, and you can see all five tracks going in. Once you've completed your playlist, you can reorder the tracks simply by dragging them around. Click Done when you're happy. 
And by the way, don't panic if you select and delete a track from your playlist. You haven't deleted it from your music collection, just from this playlist. Play the playlist either in the order shown by clicking here, or randomize the order by selecting this random button. Playlists are also a useful way of organizing a music collection to burn onto a CD. So there's burn playlist to disc. Well, I hope that'll get you started. And of course, there's lots more to explore in iTunes.